Good evening, folks, and welcome to a Saturday edition of the Mediocre Cover Band Guitar Guy Wet Dog Edition. Whew. It's raining, and he just came in from doing some business. I guess I'm going to have to clean that up. Anyway, quick and easy one this evening for you guys. Talking about uh, promotion and your band. And uh, I was actually playing that on a Billy Duffy Herco which is pretty cool. It's Flex 50, same as Don Felder used to use, only in a blue color. So, back to promotion. Uh, it's easier today to promote your band than it was, like, back when I started out. Back when you used to have to carry wood to school and stuff, and uh, we didn't have cars, and women weren't allowed to read. Um, those were long gone years, you know. But um, things have changed now with the advent of your, your uh, computer phone. You can take pictures, you can download apps uh, to make great posters and things. When we were coming up, you went and had a band photo taken. And what you would have is like a big poster with this big blank space on the bottom. And uh, yes, seriously, we had to take posters. And then um, you'd write your information in with a Sharpie or something. And then you'd go stick it in the local grocery store where somebody who was selling a Camry would put that over your poster on you. So, uh, or somebody would rip it down or whatever. That was back in the day, but now everything's a lot easier. And business cards were always a thing, but they're still good to have. I would highly recommend them. But uh, once again, you can go back to your computer phone and download apps, get great pictures, um, make really cool posters, put them up on Facebook, all that stuff. And um, that's the other thing. You should have a Facebook page. I know Facebook has kind of fallen out of favor with like the younger people and stuff, and it's all Insta and Twitter and stuff. But you should also utilize those social media outlets as well. Um, do up some business cards. Um, drummers, you can get like sticks with your band's name on it, and uh, you can have guitar picks with your band's name on them. I should have took one out from ours I could have showed you but I don't have any handy um, and the reason the picks work and people are laughing now that know me because like, I'm a pick whore I've got like over 2,000 picks here right now in jars uh, but the thing with picks and cards are different like if you got a card it's getting thrown out um, or somebody's using it you know when they're rolling a joint to help with the filter um, with a pick, they're going to stick it in their pocket. When they wake up the next morning, they'll see your band's name on it um, or drumstick if they manage to carry home and they don't leave in the cab or something. And they'll look you up on Facebook because you're going to be on some platform of social media or on, on, on the Internet. So you can use that. Also, the venue you're playing should have some form of uh, promotional uh, access as well, uh, whether it be their own pages through Twitter, Instagram, uh, or Facebook or whatever or website they should be advertising you as well if they're not that's kind of dumb in my opinion because they're the ones that are bringing you in there and it's not the old days when they ask you hey can your band draw a crowd the question is can your club bring in a crowd you know um, so just just keep that in mind you know a nice professional website you can get them for really cheap um, per month, you know, you're going to have to pay for your domain and all that. Uh, a Facebook page is good, and keep your Facebook page active. Um, a lot of people, and I'm guilty of this one, if you do a private event like a wedding, after the wedding, instead of going, hey, doing a private event tonight, just so you put it there, after the wedding, thank the couple um, for the opportunity to entertain the crowd. And if you did a good job and you feel you did a good job, ask for a referral. They'll put it up there on your on your page and uh, ask for a referral um, if you do a private event for an organization thank you organization after the event is over if you um, do a Christmas party thank the people thank the organizers let people know you're active because if you haven't had your page active in like a year people are gonna think either you're not playing or your bands broken up or whatever or you're just lazy or something keep yourself looking busy and busy bands get booked and believe it or not it's still that way it's hype <laughs> It's like they say about mom, mob mentality. Uh, if your band looks busy, then people perceive you must be good. 
um, and I won't go into the whole cheap crap again because I know you're sick of hearing it guys uh, but that's that's pretty much it it's easy you don't have to leave your house you don't have to drive to the grocery store unless you know Mrs. is sending on like, oh I got posters in the car I'll put one up like I said somebody's selling an 83 uh, Camry it's going over that so utilize social media utilize the internet utilize all this free stuff and um, just soak it for what it's worth at the end of the day it helps your band you know you might get one gig out of it but I can guarantee you every time you hit the pavement you gotta hit the pavement of course and you gotta visit people and you gotta contact them but I can guarantee you once as you leave that person or once as you reach out to that person they're looking for you they're looking they're looking for that blueprint or footprint to see where you are and to see how busy you are and active and if they see a band that's booked uh, that's good. Another thing, we did the whole video back when we had the uh, the episode with uh, Mr. Big and the big botch at the end of the soul. I botched a lot of shit. I botched this one that I just did. But the fact is that if you're using footage from your phone, it's not always good um, because if you're too close to the PA speakers, you're getting distortion. It's inaudible. You can't hear it. If you're too far away and you got a club of drunk people singing, it's going to affect it because people are going to look at it and go, well, that singer is singing like they wouldn't find a key in a locksmith shop or they wouldn't carry a tune in a bucket or some shit like that, right? And some singers have that problem naturally, so they don't need people in the crowd messing it up. I know I would have that problem. I, I can barely play, but if you, you think my playing's bad, my singing's even worse. They turn my microphone off on me when we're... They let me do sound check and do the check one too, but it comes off after. But anyway, back to promotion. Utilize the internet, utilize every social media platform. Somebody is on there. Um, and get yourself out there. Um, put your videos up. If you're taking videos, you can do stuff in your jam space. If you've got a good phone, put it somewhere, take a video. If you've got a good camera, get some video footage. You know, If you can get somebody who's professional to do you a video, and it doesn't cost a lot of money, or if you got a lot of money, whatever. Utilize it. Get it out there. Get in people's eyes and ears. That's it. Cheers.